To get Sam Broadcaster to automatically load the next day's playlist and launch it each night at midnight, you need to install a PAL script in Sam's event scheduler. The script has been written by the tech staff at Spatial Audio, and when you get Music One, we'll send you two scripts. One is for when you have Music One exporting one single full day's playlist or schedule, the whole day in one file. The other script is used when you are having Music One break the day into 24 mini playlists, one for each hour of the day. You'll be using only one of these scripts, the one for the output that you select. In either case, you'll need to check the script to ensure that Music One is saving the playlist into the folder where the script tells Sam to find it. Here's what a script looks like. It's a text file. You open it with Notepad or WordPad. The top part is just information and instruction. Sam will ignore this part of the file. The actual script begins right here where you have the word pal.loop. This is what to look for, and this is what you may have to edit. It's on the line that begins with Construct Playlist Path. Here, Sam is being told to find the playlist on the C drive within the Music One SE folder and then inside the subdirectory named Sam Playlists. That corresponds to where Music One is being told to save the daily playlist for Sam. For that setting, in Music One, you click the System button and the Automation tab. And in the Playlist folder field, enter the name Sam Playlists. And there is a space between Sam and Playlist. That's important because the PAL script is written that way. The date format for these scripts is YYMMDD. That's year, year, month, month, day, day. Make sure you have it right because the script is looking for the playlist to be name dated that way. This is the way most people do it. This assumes that you have Music One, Sam, and your audio files all on one machine. But you can set it up differently. Let's say you have a network or you use multiple drives. Music One is on one computer or drive and you want it to send the playlist to a different drive or somewhere else on your network. Then you'd edit both the PAL script and the Music One playlist folder setting. I'll change the script to have Sam looking to the D drive and to a folder named Spatial Audio and a subfolder within that one named Playlists. In Music One, I double click inside the Playlist folder field and the Locate Automation Log Folder window appears. Click the Network button and then negotiate through your computer to the proper drive, select the folder, and then click the Open or the OK button. Alternately, you could just type in the drive and path. If you do this, though, be very careful to type it in just as you have it in the PAL script. It's not cap sensitive. You can type in uppercase or lowercase, but the letters, spaces, colons, and backslashes must be exact.